Hey, yo, Cam. What's going on, bro? Hey, bro, you that dude from TikTok that gives men relationship advice, right? Absolutely, bro. That's me. What's up with you, man? Hey, man, I have a question. All right, um, step right here. Let me get out the walkway. What's your name, man? John. John, nice to meet you, Cameron Devon Crew. What question do you have, player? Yeah, John, so I'm dating this woman right now. Okay. We are great. I mean, great relationship, great sex, great chemistry. Everything is great. Perfect. You know, uh, she might be the one also. So what question do you have? Yeah, so I go out with the boys from time to time. We went out in this one night in particular. You know, I hit it off with this chick and we slept together. Okay. Um, my wife picked up my phone. She went through it looking for something else and she stumbled across this. She started, me asking, she started asking me a couple of questions. I lied to her a bit. You know, right. she accepted it, but now she's still kind of suspicious. For sure, yeah. I mean, she knows it doesn't add up. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to give her peace of mind. I want to stay in a relationship. You know, I want to move forward. I want to give her peace of mind. Right. How do I do that? Okay, so you're kind of asking me two different questions without saying it. On one hand, you cheated, you lied, and you want to continue in the relationship. On the other hand, you're concerned about your woman's well-being. So what advice do you want? How to cheat or how to be a more committed man? How to be a more committed man. Okay. Now let's go back to the event, right? When you were out with your homies and you met the woman and you slept with her, why did you do it, bro? Well, I felt like I wanted to, bro. Yeah. And you had no rifts in the relationship with your the woman. The relationship was wonderful. No negativity. Nothing, nothing drove you towards she wanting gives something me everything else. Everything I want. So you just did that because so you're happy in the relationship. Yes. But that just felt good. Yes. And look, this is something that you really need to consider within yourself. Most men, if we're going to be fully honest, would prefer to be able to sleep with multiple women. The problem is that in society, we can't admit that. So we feel shame about the fact that we have natural attraction for other women, even if you're happy with your current woman. And do you feel that way? You feel shame, don't you? A bit. A yes, bit. indeed. Yes. So the first thing you have to do is acknowledge who you are and be very realistic about how you feel and what you want. So if you did that, that's an indication that you're the kind of man who would prefer multiple women or at least variety from time to time rather than being fully monogamous. Now, let me ask you a very specific question. When you think about your future, do you picture yourself truly with one woman? And if we're being honest about what happened, would you see yourself with a main woman and every now and then having women on the side? Yes. That part? Yes. Right. But you don't feel comfortable really saying that to yourself and especially saying it to your woman, right? Correct. Right. All right. So what we need to do here is start off with getting to know who you actually are because it doesn't sound like you've been living in your truth up to this point in your life it sounds like you've been trying to live a monogamous lifestyle where you probably had multiple girlfriends right yes you've tried not to cheat you would consider yes. seeing another woman outside the relationship as cheating and something you shouldn't do right yes but if that's something you want to do then you have to get to a place where you can find a lifestyle that's balanced in terms of your emotions and your desires so if you want to do that the real question is, how do you do that and still have a healthy relationship? Now, the second part of the equation is, why did you lie to your woman about it? Because I wanted to protect myself in the relationship. Right, and you want the relationship to continue today. Yes. And you don't want her to be hurt. Yes. You care about her. Yes. You love her. Yes. And I feel that, bro. And you doing the extra mental thing contrary to what most people would think, does not mean that you have a problem with your woman, nor does it mean that you don't love your woman. It just means that you have love for your woman, but you have desires outside the relationship. But I'm gonna say this, you lying, or rather withholding information by not being truthful and transparent about what happened is a form of manipulation and it's a passive aggressive approach at being controlling. Now, you probably don't view yourself as controlling, do you? No. But when you withhold information from someone because you want to influence how they're gonna respond to the possibility of knowing what happened, that is controlling. It's not direct control, 
It's indirect control. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, that's not fair to the woman. Now, I, I'm not going to speak to you. I'm not going to be in your ballpark on this. I actually think that that's toxic and unhealthy for y'all's relationship. But most importantly, bro, putting you all the way to the side, that's not fair to her mental health and her emotional well-being. She deserves to know exactly what kind of relationship she's in. She deserves to know that you've had sexual access to other women because that could put her own health at risk, correct? Yes. If you have kids with a woman and then you're still with her, now your finances are gonna be distributed between two different groups and that's gonna affect her. So you're kind of being very selfish and I'm not trying to like be overly harsh on you, but I want you to be very realistic about what you're doing and honest about it so that you can make the right choice for yourself and your woman and your mental health going forward. So what I would recommend is number one, you need to have a sit down bro because you're really in a confused place. You are trying to be in a monogamous relationship, but you're acting outside of that. So you're at a discord within yourself. Now with your woman, you're doing things that are negatively affecting her. So you need to think about how you actually want to have a healthy relationship with your specific woman and how to move that forward. Now, what you might find is that you want to be a man who has multiple women or variety. If you do, then what you need to do is put all the chips on the table with your woman and be transparent and let her know what you've done and what you want to do in the future. And you have to give her free will to decide whether or not she wants to be in that kind of relationship. If she does not, it's within her right to leave you. Are you okay with that? Yes. I know you need to think about that more. You're saying yes, but give that time to marinate and really think about that. Well, really, I don't want her to leave me. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. But you need to get to the place where you're okay with letting her exercise her free will and do what's in her best interest, whether or not it means being with you. I know you could be a good man for her, right? But that might not be the relationship structure that she wants. And again, it doesn't make you the bad guy. The only thing you did wrong was lying. Doing, you know, following your desire and being true to your emotions is not wrong. But lying to somebody and putting them in a situation that they don't even know they're in is fucked up. Right? Yeah. Right. So take some time. Don't go to your woman tonight. Take some time, a week or two, maybe journal, reflect, meditate. Think about who you are what you want for your long-term future, what's best for you. Once you make that decision, be honest with your woman and go from there. All right, bro, that's really all the advice I have. Appreciate that, brother. Yes, indeed, bro. Yo, if you wanna get deeper on this subject when you figure out yourself a little bit more, make sure you book a consultation with me, man. I can help you whether it be going the, the route of having multiple women or having a true monogamous relationship. I can help you either way, bro, all right?